Alright, so I've installed the vacuum pump for the uh, Grand Prix. It's a 3800 Series 2. And the idea is to put vacuum into the crankcase to make the piston ring spread out to give you more compression. Under a wide open throttle, the rings actually suck in a little bit from the compression because on the top of the ring it's pressing in and you're losing your compression at wide open throttle so you also get some blow by from like the valve cover so you can get a vacuum pump from a 2004 2005 uh, Rainier Envoy and uh, Trailblazer I got this one used at a salvage yard. I had the fittings and everything for 20 bucks. I made my own fittings uh, for this. Now it came with the relay. So I took the relay and uh, I have a fuse going to the main line. Come from the fuse box. But you have to have a way to turn it on wide open throttle. So I take this bracket and the switch here. There, now you can see it. It's kind of hard doing this backwards. So wide open throttle. It turns on there. It activates it on. And it's working the vacuum. So the pump sucks in from the valve cover. And you can't have anything on the other one. You can't have a breather on this side. Which you don't from the factory anyway. I just modified a fitting and a regular generic cap. The hose going into the inlet side of the pump. And the outside actually needs to go to a tank with a breather, but this is just a test run, so I just have a breather hooked up to it. So you're going to want to run power directly to your fuse box. I would go on this top post that's there. I would run one for the relay and one for power. Because you have to go through a relay, otherwise the switch would just burn up. You can't run just a switch. So this is good for about 20 to 30 extra horsepower. Another mod you can do is to take the uh, positive cable directly from the back of the alternator directly to the uh, fuse relay center because otherwise it goes all the way down to the starter and then, then back up and you, you don't get a whole lot of power. There's a lot of resistance on that run. So that gives you a little bit better, brighter lights and heated seat and a little better ignition. Or you can also get this mod here with it's a voltage booster and it gives you 0.7 more volts. Uh, coils, wires, good plugs, throttle body spacer, the cold air intake which really works well, and then a reprogrammed CPU. So a car like this will run uh, like low 14s. So we'll see what we can do with uh, extra 20 horsepower.